Thank you very much. Um, and thanks, of course, the Brand Foundation and all the donors for uh, you really mean a lot as an early career researcher to get our first funding. So thank you very much. Um, so cerebral small vessel disease is a common feature of the aging brain. So basically, the small brain ve uh, blood vessel of the brain will get damaged uh, with the aging process. And this has been associated with a very strong increased risk of dementia and increased risk of stroke. And uh, currently, there is no cure treatment for this disease. Um, the main approach for the treatment is simply to manage the uh, risk factor. So for example, people with uh, patients who have obstructive sleep apnea, they tend to develop uh, blood-brain damage. And this is a, a consequence of the apnea that they have during sleep. So people with obstructive sleep apnea, generally, they have uh, a closure of the upper airway when they sleep. And if you want, this decrease uh, the airflow. So they have oxygen desaturation in the blood. And this combined with a small surge in blood pressure at the end of the apnea damage all the blood blood vessel. Uh, so these, these patients are very high risk to develop blood brain damage and on long term um, development of cognitive impairment. And this is, uh, in Australia, there is uh, a large proportion of the population who have obstructive apnea, and this prevalence is even increasing as the population become more obese. So this is a very important for the health problem for the Australia. Um, however, the good news is if we detect and diagnose this uh, brain change very <laughs> early on, we know that we can reverse uh, this damage. The problem is currently uh, we rely on imaging technique for the development or the diagnostic of the uh, brain damage, uh, but there is no really uh, ideal imaging technique to develop the early brain damage. So at this stage, using a routine MRI scan, we can only in obstructive sleep apnea patient detect brain damage when it's almost too late to get any reverse change with uh, treatment management. So the aim of this project is really to develop a new advanced MRI imaging technique that will be able to detect the early change occurring in the brain to uh, hopefully, uh, and we expect, really improve the disease diagnostic, but also improve the treatment strategy. Um, so for this model, we want uh, to work with patients with obstructive sleep apnea, but uh, we really expect our result could be expanding to other populations. I have in mind a patient with cardiovascular disease in particular who are so at high risk of developing uh, blood damage, in the, from blood vessel damage in their brain. So um, thank you very much for your support, and uh, I hope we will uh, make the Brain Foundation very proud. <laughs> Thanks.